what happened at the cross or the benefits of the cross you can call it the benefits of the cross you can call it the benefits of Easter or you can call it you can say what happened at the cross number one at the cross our salvation was procured these are the benefits of the cross the benefits of today the reason why we are celebrating today it is because it is in in a day like today that our salvation was procured a day like today our salvation was procured free salvation is the first benefit of the cross free salvation before the cross it was almost impossible for anyone to go to heaven it was actually after the cross when Jesus resurrected won the battle fought the devil and won the battle when uh, even the people that had died long time ago were seen in the streets of Jerusalem so it was almost impossible for anyone to go to heaven before the cross. The devil was, had taken captive even people that were just, people that were righteous. They had been taken captive in death. They had been taken captive by Satan in death. So it was almost impossible even after you are righteous and you are so righteous. You have fulfilled all the laws of Moses. The devil would still uh, maliciously keep you captive for many years. <laughs> he would still stop you from going to heaven. He was so powerful before Jesus came. You know we can take things for granted. We can take salvation for granted. But before people would do everything they would do everything they would sacrifice like job would sacrifice every day for himself and for his children every day if you were told to sacrifice every day if you were told to sacrifice every day for your own salvation would it not be a very difficult task if today coming to church for many Christians is a big problem, what about sacrificing every day? Giving every day? You know, and it was not just giving. You have to sacrifice uh, a goat. You have to sacrifice a lamb. And you have to, once in a year, you have to release one goat to carry your sins. Can you imagine all that work? To get salvation. To go to heaven. And still after you have done all that. And after you have been very careful. Follow all the rules and the laws of Moses. Again the devil keeps you in bondage. Keeps you in hell. And he says you. You will not go to heaven. Like the day of Moses. When Moses died. In the book of Jude. You can see that Jude chapter 1 and verse 9 there. Verse 8, 9 there. When he died. When Moses died. The devil contended for his body. He said this body is mine. This one will not go to heaven. This one will stay with me. Can you imagine that? It was not easy until angel Michael came down. And because they are in the same rank with Lucifer. Satan and angel Michael are in the same rank. They were both archangels. He could not rebuke him. He could not tell, you, tell him you Satan leave Moses alone he could not do that because of the rank in the spirit and so he told him may the Lord rebuke you let the Lord stop you it is only God who can stop you so let the Lord stop you and the Lord stopped him and that is how the body of Moses and the soul of Moses was able to go to heaven that is why at the mountain of transfiguration you can see Jesus when, uh, when Jesus went to the mountain of transfiguration, you can see uh, Moses and you can see Elijah there. That means that that prayer, that battle of Angel Michael uh, prevailed. He prevailed. He succeeded 
And Moses was able to go to heaven. Hallelujah. So it is not a small thing to have salvation. It is not a small thing. If it was left for you, you will not make it to heaven. If Jesus never died, you will never go to heaven. Even if you were to follow all the laws of Moses, still the devil had a power maliciously uh, keeping you here on earth or maybe in hell. Hallelujah. But today, but today, because of the work of the cross, we have free gift of salvation. Somebody say thank you, Jesus, for dying for me. The Bible says in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 21. New King James says, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 21. For he made him who knew no sin to be seen for us. You know, Jesus was not a sinner. But when he went to the cross, he carried our sins there. He carried all our sins there. When he went to the cross, he carried all your sins there. He became sin. He was not a sinner. He became your sin. He became your sin. So what was hung at the cross, what was crucified on the cross, was not actually Jesus per se. It was your sin. It was your sin that was crucified on the cross. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Say again, thank you, Jesus. For he made him, God made Jesus, who knew no sin, to be sin. So he became sin for us, that we might become righteousness of God in him. So today you are righteous, because all your sins, all your sins were nailed on the cross. Lift up your hand and say, thank you, Jesus. Say again, thank you, Jesus, for nailing my sins on the cross. Very, very important. First Corinthians chapter 6. Look at First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19 and 20. So we were saved from the shackles of sin and evil while we were still sinners. We were very far from God, but through Easter, we are brought near to God. Through Easter, we are brought near to God. Our fellowship with God, our relationship with God is restored now. Now we can relate with God without any hindrance. We can relate with God without any hindrance. Before it was not possible for an ordinary Christian, an ordinary believer, an ordinary person to relate with God. You had to go through a priest and a high priest. Can you imagine that? But today in your house, in your house, you can relate with God. Is that not something? Is that not something? That is what happened at the cross. Our relationship with God was restored. And now we can relate with God personally. The Bible says, what? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost? Now the Holy Spirit stays in you. Which is in you? which you have of God and you are not of your own you are not of your own you are not of your own verse 20 says for you are bought with the price somebody say I am bought for you are bought with a price therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit which are God's hallelujah we are bought with a price. Somebody say, I am bought. I belong to God. Say again, I belong to God. No, even if you die, the devil has no right to claim your body or to claim your soul. He cannot claim your soul now like the case of Moses because Jesus made sure that every debt that you had with the devil was paid. Every debt that you had with the was cleared. So there is no death anymore. Shetani Avesiaka could die anything. He cannot claim anything from you. Lift up your hand and say, My Father, my God, thank you for clearing my debts, for clearing all my debts. Hey, and that's why we cannot take God for granted. That's why we cannot take salvation for granted. 
That's why we cannot take salvation for granted. Benefit number two. Or what happened at the cross? Number two. At the cross, our freedom was paid. Our freedom was paid. First Corinthians chapter 7 verse 22 and 23. Look at it from NLT. Our bondage to the devil was broken. At the cross, our freedom, our freedom was paid. So number one, our salvation was, was procured. And number two, our freedom was paid. Now we are free in Christ. Now we are free. We can do anything we want. We can go anywhere we want. But there was a time you could not do anything you want. There was a time you could not be anywhere you want. Because the devil would strike you. The devil would strike you. Hallelujah. But today, day and night. Day and night. We are under protection. Day and night. We are under protection. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. And remember. If you are a slave with the Lord. When the Lord called you. If remember. If you are a slave when the Lord called you. You are now free in the Lord. Somebody say I'm free. Say again I am free. Yes you are free. Before you could not do what you want. Because there were forces. There were forces. That were possessing you. Forces that were influencing you. You could not come to church. Because there were forces that could not allow you to come to church. You could not pray. Because there were forces that could not allow you to pray. You could not love people. Because there were forces. There were spirits. Demonic powers. That could not allow you to love people. But today you can love. You can love even your enemies. You can love your neighbors. Because Jesus paid for your freedom. Now you are free. No devil is controlling your heart. No, no devil is controlling your soul. No devil is controlling your actions. Somebody say I am free. Say again I am free. Yes before you could not give to God. How can you give? How can you? I remember when I got saved. Before I got saved, I could not go to church. I would feel embarrassed being in church. Can you imagine that? I would feel embarrassed. Today, I'll be embarrassed to be outside the church when the service is going on. I'll be so embarrassed. I used to be embarrassed. Even when I go to church, I will not sit near a window. I will not sit there so that my friends will not see me. You know, there were some forces that were hindering me. From going to church. Maybe for, maybe for you. Uh, you've never had such experience. Some people cannot come to church. There's, there is somebody. There is a person who cannot enter by that. They cannot enter. They cannot enter. They try to come to church. But there is something pulling them backward. Hey! Say I thank you Jesus. Say thank you Lord. For buying my freedom. For buying my freedom. So you are free now. You are now free in the Lord. And if you were free when the Lord called you. You are now a slave of Christ. It is better to be a slave of Christ. That is why now. Outside Christ. I feel guilty. And if you do something wrong. And you don't feel guilty. Maybe something is very wrong. With your salvation. Or maybe the Holy Spirit is no longer with you. That's why when you do something wrong now, you can feel that, that guilt in you. Why? Because now you've become, you've subscribed to be a slave and a servant of Jesus. Give us verse 23 as we finish. The Lord is faithful. God paid a high price for you. God paid a high price for you to be free. So don't be enslaved by the world. So refuse to be enslaved. Now this scripture means that even if you are bought with a high price, the devil can still come to enslave you. He can still try because he doesn't respect. 
he doesn't respect the word of God. But now you've been given power to resist him. You've been given power to refuse to be enslaved. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. That is the benefit of the cross. And that's why we are here to remember Easter. We are remembering how the devil was defeated by Jesus. Hallelujah. Number what? Number three. Number three, at the cross, our glory was acquired. At the cross, our glory was acquired. It was his humiliation that bought our honor and glory. When they put that crown of, ne of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of what? Of thorns. The crown of thorns. And when they stripped him, when they stripped his clothes, you know, and he was naked, you know, and he was left naked, you know, he was stripped naked so that you will never have to bear shame. So you don't have to be put to shame. That's why the Bible says that those who trust in the Lord shall not be put into shame. Hallelujah. So from today, there is no shame for you. Somebody shout hallelujah. Say again hallelujah. By his humiliation, our honor and our glory was bought. Our honor and our glory was bought. No more shame for us. The devil cannot put you to shame. The devil cannot put me to shame. So today decree that your family will not undergo any shame your children will not undergo any shame your business will not undergo any shame you will not be ashamed by the devil there will be no reproach for you there will be no more shame for you in the name of jesus god paid your honor and your glory with a by a high a high price with a high price. With a high price. No devil is allowed to put you to shame. Because you are in Christ. Somebody say thank you Jesus. Lift up your hand and say thank you Jesus. Oh lift up your hands and glorify him now. Glorify him now. Say thank you Jesus. Give him.